All right, fellas, so recently I took this old computer and ripped out every single key, and now I intend to make the most ultimate gamer keyboard ever. So, over here we have the layout of all the keys, and so, yeah, let's just start. I think number lock is one of the most essential keys of any keyboard, and I hate how it's really out of the way, so I'm probably going to put that somewhere in the middle there. Yeah. Next big change I'm going to make is, uh, so WASD is now, like, used more than arrow keys. So I have a feeling people are stupid for not just, you know, like, put changing the arrows to be right there. Like, this just makes it so much easier. I guess, next, I did read this one thing that having a keyboard going from A to Z is sometimes more helpful for people. So I want to look out for those people and add a small section for them. All right, now we have this little top section. So if you're gaming and you prefer to use the original letters, then you have this little area right over here just for you. There we go. Now, if you're going to type the numbers of fire assumptions, then you can have both hands on there at the same time. It's gonna make it so much faster for y'all. Next, we have the alt button, which I have a feeling is the least useful thing. I'm not sure I've ever touched this ever in my life so I'm gonna go put this at the farthest corner of the keyboard right there so that never no one's ever gonna touch that apparently there's also a second one so I'm also gonna see if I can't just put that this is closest I can get these to each other being farthest away from where our hands gonna be next we have the windows button now I actually think windows is extremely overrated and that MacBooks and Linuxes are definitely superior in every single way possible. So, I'm also going to put this pretty far out, right there by the two alts. It's going to be the wasteland. No one's going to want to go near here. Next is tab. Now, I think tab... I hate how it's always all the way. Like, it's used in most games nowadays. Like, it's not supposed to be some dumb thing just for Google. Oh, shoot, I dropped it. I'm going to... I think this is almost as essential as like the arrow key so I'm gonna put it right there finally I have no idea what this key is so I think I'm just gonna put it in now when I'm gaming normally it's super bad and I tend to rage so I go in the chat say something like try to say something really mean but at the time I'm done typing it it's like it's not I'm not mad anymore so the second you die in uh, a ranked match, you can grab all four figures, smash it down here, and that will just give you an instant message to whoever. Next thing I want to cover is this key. I don't get why that's a thing. No one ever uses that unless you write JavaScript. So here we have our shift bar. It's upside down. Don't really care. And we have that right there. I think the tab bar keeps coming up. There we go. So now you'll make sure that you never accidentally press this since your finger's literally already on shift. Next, I think a really based opinion is that these page up, page downs, I think are much better than the regular arrow keys or WASD combined. Next, I have a feeling this area is kind of lacking other than the other graveyard things. So, so now we have the plug corner for all the plugs. All right, next we have all these other number keys. Don't get why I, there's so many of them, but they're, there's like two of each. Now I have a feeling number three is crazy important. So I'm going to put a, this right next to the other three. Next we have W, X, and Z. Which no one uses these anymore. So like, ah, uh, that really annoys me. So I'm going to put them. I think they're almost as essential as numbers, to be honest. I'm also going to add the question mark right here. Because I was wondering what to put here. And then I realized, huh, wondering. That reminds me of a question. So this is going to be the entirety of parentheses on. And because of how essential these parentheses are, I want people to be able to insert it as fast as possible. So the second you're done doing your brackets, bam, it, it's it, it's in. Next, we have all the math equations. Yeah. I added a little math equation because 4 times 2 equals 8. That way if you're ever on your math quiz, and people are like, no, no cheating. That's not allowed. You just look down at your computer and be like, oh, 
4 times 2 equals 8, and then you can pass it, because, like, it's already on your computer. You don't even need to search up anything. Then, another thing, if you're good, you don't really feel like you want to send a KYS, or I'm always going to put a delete key here, since people deserve second chances. Something I forgot to do is, if you're reading 4 times 2 equals 8, and you're like, ah, I don't know what this is for, I'm going to put this little math symbol here, the, the plus, so that people know that this is supposed to be helpful for math, not for ELA. That way you don't whip out this computer during ELA and fail your grammar test. Also, there's multiple control keys. So, uh, I think no one should be controlled, not even your keyboard. So, I'm going to put control as out of the way as possible. Plus, as, as its bonus, it's right next to the no, so you know, no control. And then this second control serves so zero purpose since there already is one. So I'm going to put it right by all the alt bars. Yeah. Next, there's two slashes. Uh, this originally would go here, but dang it, guys, it's full. So we're going to have to put it here on our main, main keyboard layout. This is also really con discouraging. You're not greater than anyone, and no one's greater than you. So this is also going to be super out of place. However, less than, you can use a lot, and it can make you a really good person if you admire that you're less than. I'd say it's just as useful as the arrow key, so I'm going to plop that right there. Quote, this is stupid. You should be able to come up with stuff yourself. No, I don't even want this on my keyboard. I'm just going to... Oh, where'd it go? I don't want to lose this again. So, again, it's just going to go in the graveyard by the alts. I hate underscore because whenever I'm trying to type stuff, I think underscore is going to, like, underscore it. But no, it just makes a pointless line. So you guys can already guess where this is going. I love shift. I'm not, I think shift is really underrated. In fact, I think it might be almost as important as numlock. So we're going to have it right there. We also have six. Or carrot. I think part of growing up healthy is eating a lot of healthy foods, and carrots are one of them. So every single time you're doing math, you should be able to think, I should probably eat healthy, guys. Next we have backspace. Now, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Wrong! No one should make mistakes. You should do everything perfect. You shouldn't need to rely on the stupid backspace, you idiot. Also, I realized they put two entry keys right next to each other. Seven is and, so and means two things should be combined, like delete and this. Next we have five, which is also percent. Percent reminds me, no, what percent is too confusing. It's going to play the graveyard. Okay, now we have, in case you ever forget your name, it's Tim, and it always has been. What if this is like, a non-American name. What if this is like from a different country? So where it's spelled different. So Tim, in case you're not from America and you are from Antarctica, that's how your name is going to be spelled. So just ignore the J. Wait, how do I make people ignore the J? I know, V gets ignored all the time. So we're going to have that as close as possible to it. Just so you know to ignore it if possible. Next, we're going to have RV. So in case you ever strike it rich, you know exactly what to buy. And of course, we have Antarctic spelling of RV. I don't use H too often, so we're just going to put it over here. Don't have anything clever for it, it's just there's only three spots left. Wait, and then shift covers H. Wait, this is perfect. Now, you're never going to see H again, because shift is covering it. Alright, now it's the final stretch. We just have the F keys. And many of them. Escaping should be the last thing you do. F6 has a lock in the word PC by it. Pause, break, backspace, print screen. Might be the most important thing, second to num block. This F has a computer screen by it. By it. How it looks like a computer made in the 1970s. What even is that? Why is there a frying pan? So we have a calculator. Erm, um, actually, power off PC. It's even worse. Okay guys, this is our ultimate gaming keyboard setup. So, I'm just gonna go over it top to bottom for a cinematic shot of glory. 
All right, feel free to copy this down and make this your new keyboard. All right, time to use it. <sighs> okay, let's try this out. Uh, uh, where is N? Nah. Ab. Uh, it, it, uh, what do I? Too short. What the? Uh. Gonna kill myself.